chapter five, the transaction that affect revenue, expense, and withdrawals. So now we know that this section is gonna be the owner equity section, okay? So uh, remember, and we're adding on top of what we did before. So this chapter has two sections. Yes, there is two sections. Relationships of revenue, expense, and withdrawals to owner equity. That's exactly what I just mentioned. And applying the rules. There's a rule of debit and credit to revenue, expense, and withdrawal. Each one of them has its own rule, okay? Some of them will have a matching rule, but you know, each one of them has a rule. So section one is gonna be the relation of revenue, expense, to the and withdrawal to the owner equity. Remember, we've mentioned that, that owner equity has four accounts. The four accounts are capital, which already we mentioned before. And then now we're gonna be talking about revenue, expense, and withdrawal. Now here we're gonna be mentioning something called temporary and permanent accounts. A temporary account, that account that we could we would close at the end of the, uh, the reporting uh, uh, period, and uh, we're gonna start from a zero after that. A permanent account, you ca you cannot close it. In, in a sense, you cannot zero it, okay? So it's gonna continue on and go on and on. So it stays with the business until the business closes or, or, or that account will be canceled completely for some reason, okay? But uh, expense, revenue, and withdrawal are temporary account, while capital is not a permanent account. So everything in those three accounts will be sent to the capital account at the end of the accounting period. So uh, rules, definitely we need to learn the rules. No way I could do them in five minutes here. The rules and deb uh, debit and credit, each one of them has its own rule. Revenue has a, a rule for, for its uh, debit and credit. And revenue uh, expense plus withdrawal has its own rules, okay? So uh, we'll mention this in, in class. There's no way we could do that here. So now here we're talking about actually transactions. We're gonna start solving transaction that relates to revenue and expense withdrawals. Uh, we'll keep on going and doing so many transactions. See, by doing more transactions, you're actually learning more. So memorizing by itself, it's not gonna work, but if the minute you start doing the transactions, it becomes a lot easier. Here we're using a T account. Remember, you know, we're doing a T account here. The reason it's called T account, remember, because it looks like a T. You write the name, for example, here, rent expense. Debit, credit, always debit on the left side, credit on the right side. A plus or minus, it depends on the on the on the account. For example, you know, if an expense account, a debit is a plus. Okay, but you know, if you go to revenue, revenue is the other way around. Credit is the plus. So, but the location are the same. So debit and credit, debit, credit, always left, right, left, right, left, right. Except the plus or minus, it doesn't have to be always plus and minus. It depends on the account itself. Okay, I'll, I'll see if there's an example. Yes, for example, here, look at this one. Account payable, it's a liability account, has nothing to do with our section, but this is from the old section, section, the one before, chapter before. You can see that debit credit, the same thing, debit credit, but except the expense here is a plus and a minus, while account payable, the debit is a negative, and the credit is a plus. Rules like this one has to be practiced in class. So that's why accounting class, you have to be involved, you have to be in class. You cannot skip classes because it's hard for you to understand on your own, so you need to be involved in our class the whole time. Uh, and then at the end here, they're showing you, okay, now we, I'm, I'm showing you here a debit and credit. The last thing here, notice one thing. All the accounts at the end, they have to, all, all the debits, if you add them up, on all the credits that you add them up, they have to be equal to each other. Because whenever we do a T account, notice here, a T account shows a, a, a 500 here and a 500 here, for example, okay? So a debit of 500, a credit of 500. So they have to keep matching. Here's a 600 and 600. So somehow by mistake, you forgot something or you wrote the wrong number. When you double check your work by doing this kind of, you know, you know what they call it, testing your equality, you take all the debits and you put them on the left side, for example, the credit on the right side, okay? And this is only for, for, for double checking your work, okay? And that's it. And you go from there. Okay, guys, that's it, bye.